Hello guys, we continue with our hitting tutorials. This time is a tutorial number 4, Green Screen Effect. This is a very common use effect in movies, where a green background is replaced by some kind of a video of a picture, and that way we can create a very amazing visual effect through this tutorial. Applying the green screen feature in HitFilm, we're gonna create a video like this. This is still a beginner tutorial. Let's get started. And remember, if you're watching this video from YouTube, down in the description, you will find a link to our full HitFilm tutorial playlist. If you click on this, then YouTube will take you to the playlist where you can see all the videos we are creating. So, let's start applying some green screen. Let's open up HitFilm. Windows key, then type Hit and click on HitFilm Express. And here is opening HitFilm Express. Let's create a new project, so click on New. Adjust the project setting. This can be right. Then start editing, and we will go from the project tab to the edit tab. Click start editing. Well, we will use some images, some pictures on the background. So let's import something. Import this PC, let's select any picture, let's use this one. And open. It comes to the media panel. Let's import a video too. Import this PC, videos, and let's use this one. Click on this and open. Comes to the media panel, and if you click on it, you can preview it here on the trimmer. Remember how this works? We saw that in our second tutorial. Let's play. Now we're going to select some portion of this video and drag it to the timeline. Remember how? You select a point you want, then hit on setting point, play a little. Stop. Set out point. Click on this. And from this 3 minutes long video, we're going to select just a few seconds. This one. You click and drag it to the timeline. This way. Do you want to change the editor sequence settings to match the clip? No, this time no. Now you have the video in the timeline. You can preview it here in the preview window. Let's play this. Okay, let's zoom in a little. Just click at this slider and we'll zoom in. Okay, it's better. Now let's use the picture. Click on the picture. You can click and drag it directly to the timeline. Adjust its duration, dragging its border. This way. And now let's select another part of the video. Click on the video. Let's enable all the video. Set point. Set a point. Let's find some interesting moment. This could be nice. This could be the setting point. So, setting point. Let's play back this. Enough. Then set up point. You can drag directly to the timeline. You can also use these commands, overlay clip and insert clip. We saw all that in our second tutorial. If you position the marker at the end, you can use insert clip. And now this will be the background. This little video of a little more than 10 seconds. Let's play this. Okay, it is time. Let's use the green screen effect. Well, as you know, the film has been created to make visual special effects. And the green screen or chroma key are exactly visual effects. So how we do that? Just as any other effect here in the film through composite shots. Do you remember how we do that? For example, if to this clip we want to apply any special effects, we do select it, right click on it, make composite shot and then we'll go from the editor timeline to a new composite shot timeline and then go from this editing workspace to compositing workspace let's do that let's apply some green screen to this clip right click on it make composite shot let's give it a name it could be green screen one and then okay and appears a new timeline to this five seconds clip now don't forget to go from the click Editing workspace to the compositing workspace. Click on compositing. 
and this is the typical workspace we will be using anytime we're making a visual effect using heat film. Now let's play this. Click. Okay, 5 seconds video. Let's apply some effects. Well, now the media panel is over here. Here, media panel. Here you can also can import some footage. Let's import the green screen footage. Import, and let's select like this one video. Let's import it. And let's import also some pictures. Click on picture. Let's use this one. Press and hold control. Click on this one. Let's open this tool. So now we have a video and two pictures to use in the green screen footage. How we do this? Well, it's just simple. You just click on it and drag it to the timeline. Click and drag. If you drop it here, you can see it. Why? Because the green screen girl is behind this sky. You see? If you click on it and drag it to the top, now the girl will be over the sky. You can here click and change its position, its proportion, its size, as you need. Let's position it here. But now the trouble is, we want to get rid of the green area. How we do that? Well, this is an effect. So we go from the media tab to this effect tab. Click on this. And there is a variety of effects. Color correction, color grading, light flares, particles, many things. Now we go to the presets. Click on this arrow. To the effects. And there you will find the green screen key. Click on this. We need to apply this effect green screen to this, the green screen girl. How we do that? Just click and drag it to the clip. Drop it there. And that is all. The green color has gone away. That is an effect. See? Apply it to this clip, the green screen girl. If you play this, Now we're gonna use the green screen video. Go back to here to the media tab, search into the footage we have. This is a video, click on this and drag it to the timeline. If you position it below, you can see it because it's behind the scene. You have to click on it and drag it to the top this way. Again, you can adjust its position, its size. Actually, you can rotate it and do many things. Let's position it over here. I can see the sea behind. Why? Because of the green color. Let's get rid of it. How? Here in the effect tab, we select green screen. Remember what is it? It's on presets to the effects and then you will find the green screen. You just click on it and drag it to this clip. Drop it and that is all. Seems like I accidentally moved the C. I need to position it where it should be. How we do that? Well, this is the clip. Just click on it and drag it where it should be, like this. Now let's click on the beautiful girl, this girl, let's change its position. Now with this one, let's change it over here. And let's play this. Let's adjust its size, this one. At the corner, and let's change its size. its position. That will be all with this green screen composition. Let's go back to the edit top tab and all the changes we have applied has only been applied to this specific clip. You remember how to save a project? Just go to file, save and type it a name. Like this one, tutorial in film 4 and save it. Well, that was a composite shot applied to any specific clip, but you can also make independent composite shots. It will be like another clip which you can then drag, position, cut, whatever you want. Come here to media, click on media, and then new, click on this, composite shot. As this will be an independent composite shot, of course, if you want to know how much that composite shot will last. By default, it tries to make a 30 seconds long composite shot, as this is a short video. I think about 8 seconds will be ok. Then delete this and write 8, composite shot 2, and then ok. Now we are in the composite shot 2. This new and independent composite shot will have been created. So we have the editor tab, where we sequence all the clips the green composite shot, the composite shot we have just made, 
in this new independent composite show we will be creating right now. So let's apply some green screen. Let's go to the media panel, click on media, let's search for some green screen footage like this one. Click on this and drag it to the timeline. That is right. Again, you can adjust the size, proportion, position it, and to get rid of the green area, you click on effect. Again, go to presets, to the effects, and then you will find the green screen key. To apply to this picture, just click and drag it to the picture. And that is all. Let's apply some other things to make this more interesting. Uh, you remember our past tutorial? Let's apply some animation using keyframes. Let's click on transform, scroll down, and let's change its position and its scale. Automatically appears two keyframes. Remember? I would like that at the middle of the clip, this girl will be like this. And at the end, she comes back to this position and at the final two seconds this picture will increase its size let's do that at the middle i want the girl i change its position dragging here in the preview window click and drag like this see the keyframe then i would like at this place at this moment see again to the corner like this uh, this original scale I would like to keep it to this moment, so I'm going to right click on this, copy, right click at this moment, and paste. Because at the end I want this picture to increase its size. So we position the marker at the end, and then increase the size at this corner, like this. Position it better. Now watch this. Look at this, change, then comes back, and then increase its size. Green screen and some animation. Let's click at this drop down arrow, and let's apply some text. Do you remember how? It's as easy as clicking at this letter, text, click on this, and then write something, like green screen. Then you select it, and here in text tab, Let's change this color to green, of course. Increase its size. And apply some animation to If I want to apply some animation to this text, this row is this text. So I'm going to click this drop down arrow, click on transform, and let's change something like its position. Click at this position. Position, let's delete this accidentally. Remove. Position the marker at the beginning. And let's change the position. Remember, I have selected this text. I can change the position because I have active, I have enabled the text tool. I need to enable the selection tool. Click on this. And now I can move this. I would like it to be here. At the beginning. At the middle. I would like it to be here. Uh -huh. Accident, we like that. But let's position it here, and then at the end, it will be like this. And why not? Let's make it turn a little like this. Now let's look at this clip. Position the marker at the beginning, and let's play this. That is okay. We're done with our second composite shot. Let's go back to the editor. And as you can see, the new composite shot we have created doesn't appear here. Because he's kind of a clip. You go to the media tab. As we have finished the composite shot, we can come back from the compositing workspace we are now to the editing workspace. We're not going to make another composite shot. So, here you will find the composite shot we have your make. This one. Just click and drag it, just as you will do with any clip. Position the marker, you see? This is the composite shot, and it's over the mountains. So we have applied two composite shots. One to this clip through make composite shot. And another in the independent composite shot, this one. Now look at our clip right now. Look at this. We just get rid of the green areas. And it's the end. 
this is still a basic beginner tutorial with just learning to apply effects with this great video editor. I hope you like this video and to see you in the next one.